Welcome in, all you wonderful viewers, to tonight's session. It's apparently just a flick in the cameras slowly. Enjoy the Lurk Dragon. First off, we'll quickly give a shout out to our hosting service here, the Forge. Thank you to them for allowing us to use their service so that we can make this go smoother. With your foundry, be sure to check out the Forge to host it over there. Further ado, let's find out what's going on in Lee Cast's live streaming. That's real. So, I have fallen in love with War Tales. It is damn good. <laughs> and um, just the sheer amount of just freedom basically do almost whatever you want is really welcome and really like i don't know um i don't i don't know I, so the the other game that sure sure games has made is north guard i don't know if you played it i haven't played it but um this feels really great <laughs> I, I hope that i'm very much looking forward to the future content that comes up with the war table. Yeah. In fact, up to four player co op is even better. You can do. Did you not know it was four? I know you knew it was two. Did you not see that you could do four? Oh, I saw. Okay, good. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's four player co op, uh, and it it's like it's like part Sims, part XCOM, part um, medieval like war simulator like part rpg like there's like so many things that are melded together and it's i just i love it kind of like a non-magical Baldur's gate yeah. sort of thing mercs you're just mercs running around doing whatever you want you can be merchants you can be bandits you can be uh pathfinders you can be whatever the hell you want yeah and we'll be doing that it's, on it's, sunday it's such an amazing such an yeah such an amazing game um i've already like started like restarted like four or five times like just based on like where i went around and like the things that i had done and uh kind of trying to remember like Ooh, how do i want to do this how do i want to do that like one person's like uh i just i i, I can i attacked you because i can't afford to get across the border and one of the options is to like give them give them gold and in return they give you their like badass uh, badass bow yeah <laughs> you effectively buy a bow um so i just think it's really nice yeah really nice. no it's, it's really I'll, cool I'll, I'll stop gushing now if you want to know something funny <laughs> i caught um another person in our community there playing it the other day and they're gonna go do the rat plague without fire yeah. bad idea i know I know. I saw him do that. Like, because uh -uh. I tried it and I got wrecked like two oh, or yeah. three times, and I was like, well, "That's, what, that's why." That's this? why I told him. I was like, "Dude, you really don't want to do that right now." He's like, "Why? I got a torch." Because I said you needed fire. I'm like, "A torch. A torch is you not going to cut. It. You need a lot." So yeah. Anything else with you, or is that it? No, I'm good. Uh, it's. I start. Um. So, IRL. I start like really getting into like like the nitty gritty of my my new team this coming week, so looking forward to that on Monday. Good luck with that. Cool, cool. Let's slide over to that in the head. So, yeah. how has life been going for you? Uh, schooling's been a beast. <laughs> yeah, um, no, it's been it's been good. Um, I I've been sort of rocking back and forth a little bit with the emotions um, as I've been adapting to to the schooling um, but I'm getting through it which is the main thing um, I, as far as streaming goes I'm pretty now pretty much regular with um, the Lady Vengeance on Friday and Saturday nights for me uh, which is um a little bit different for you guys <laughs> but, um yeah um 
that's been going well. We've been playing Diablo 3 on the Friday, but probably we're gonna do Last Epoch or something else on the Friday, um, where Lady just hasn't had a good time with Diablo 3. Her, her main class just isn't doing what it was in previous patches, previous expansions, and just not having fun with it. Um, and then Saturday nights we're doing Borderlands, we just started Borderlands 2 after finishing Borderlands 1. Um, and that is also going pretty good. We just did our first session this week. Uh, we got to level 9, and already both of us are like, this is so much better. <laughs> this is so much better. Tech issues are so much better. Gameplay is so much better. Um, I am playing a new class for Borderlands that I've never done before, which is Zero, which is the Assassin. Uh, I'm going to be doing melee things, and when I get to level 15, I'll have a mark that I can put on an enemy and that will cause all sources of damage to do more. And we've got Lady Vengeance, and we've got Lady Vengeance's mech, because she's playing the mech, um, mech Janeer or whatever it's called. Um, and so, yeah. <laughs> um, she will have that, and then we'll have whatever elemental damages. So everything will compound. Uh, if we if we got even more people, it would just compound even more. But at this stage, it should still be should still be like almost a hundred percent increase in damage across our three sources, uh, which is a lot. It seems like a lot. So that would be nice. Um, that's all going pretty well. Uh, I can't complain. Doing all my campaigns for RPGs, that's all going well. Um, we're coming to about the midpoint of chapter two, um, and there are going to be four and a bit chapters. Um, so we're nearly like sort of getting to probably it's going to be mid year, and we'll be halfway through that campaign. Um, which is very exciting. Um, so, a lot in life is good. Uh, a lot in life is solid. Um, so, come and come and watch if you're around those times. This week, Lady's taking a, a week off to reset everything, to just have her own time. But we will be then regular, pretty much every week from then. Um, so, yeah. And hopefully, with our group over here, with DM and Azriel and whoever else wants to, we're looking, hopefully, of doing a Middle-Earth Crusader Kings 3 thing at some point. Hopefully? Cross yeah. fingers? It's only available on Steam, so everyone has to have the Steam version. That's been the only hampering on that front. Um, do you have it on Steam version? Yes. Okay, so you and I do. Azriel doesn't. So the two of us could, and we could potentially find other people, but yeah, the release for it has another big update coming out. I figured we should probably wait for that update to happen and then yes, see if anyone else has a chance to snag it on Steam that wants to play with us. I'm going to say how much it is, Rob. Okay. Uh, keep an eye out for things like uh, Fanatical and Humble as well. And... They can give you, you know, there's other places to get Steam keys that might be cheaper. But yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I think that will be a blast. Is it just base game? Um, or do I need I everything? I can't recall if you need the others or not. It would be good to have the others. Man. At least the... So the... Hmm? Currently, like the currently the, the actual the base game is fifty and the reset the royal edition is uh, seventy five. Royal edition would be preferable, but I understand not. Uh, there's the court DLC would at least be worth having, so you can actually have the courts and the artifacts and stuff. That that is a big difference. I don't know if Matt's played with the that DLC yet, but 
having the actual artifacts uh, yeah. and stuff uh, makes a big difference. I'm not good at it. <laughs> oh, I didn't say good at it. I said you know about it. Like it does. the artifacts make a big difference. Like they really do change. I know about it. Gameplay up a bit in a good way. Like you can actually hold court, which is really kind of cool. And I like the mod that allows the lower nobles to have a lower version of the court as well, because it makes sense, right? If you are a noble of sort, whether that be, you know, a duke, earl, king, whatever, that if you have other nobility, knights, reporting to you, you should probably have a court to hold court in. But, yeah, it, it, it's fun. I didn't say I'm great at it either. But that doesn't mean I don't enjoy it. Well, cool, man. Anything else for you? Or is that it? Nice large docket. Good stuff. That's, that's, that's the most of it. Cool, cool. We'll see what we can do on that. I'm looking forward to it. And uh, if you or Dimension have War Tales and want to join us, let us know. That would be fun. Maybe. Um, as for Dimension, what's going on with your stream set? Uh, first, I gotta show Matt uh, this before we Yeah, I saw you flapping that around. Oh, shit. Uh, hang on, let me um, <laughs> switch screens. Where are Enhance. We? Enhance. Oh, nice, 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 nice. That was my Borderlands 2 character, so... I heard zero and I immediately threw my mouse uh, across the room to get my mouse pad out. Don't <laughs> try! <laughs> oh, you it's have that. Also, uh, it's a, it's awesome. from Loot Crate as well, so I don't think that uh, I don't think it was ever sold in stores or anything like that. So it's it's pretty pretty cool. Uh, That's awesome. Just a little flex, little little swag flex there. Uh, yeah, no, I'm just uh, playing through The Witcher two and trying to save up for that PC. Um, Last night, uh, I got to play Phasmo with Puppy and her sister and Blue Diamond Ben. Um, had a lot of fun. Died almost every round. Um, had the ghost spawn on me and kill me multiple times instantly. Um, in fact, uh, we found the monkey paw at one point and Blue Diamond Ben wished me back alive because I had died. Um, and literally 30 seconds later, the ghost started hunting and killed me again. So I, I even went as far as to die twice wow. in one round. Wow. So that was great. You are one lucky dude. Yep. I mean, I was always finding the ghosts. So, you know, there's that. At least I'm good at finding the ghosts. You're right. But uh, yeah, other than that, um, mostly Witcher. Uh, and then our Middle Earth stream every other Wednesday night. Um, we're off this next week and i think we're actually off the the week after so it's going to be about a month before we get another session in i think because our lore master is actually um making the trek across the big pond and coming over to the states for for a bit during when we when we would normally do the game cool um, so we may end up doing something else we may not we may just end up trying to all get together and hang out and uh because I haven't met anyone in that group yet, like in person. So it'll be right. it'll be pretty cool. It would be um, awesome, dude. Yeah. That's pretty much me, though. Sweet. Witcher, and Witcher, it... and more Witcher. <laughs> well, and then, of course, for both of us, Death of the DTs has been ramping up. Oof. Doozy. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Um, yep. It's getting crazy and even more crazy and even more crazy. And there's more crazy ahead. Yeah. I feel bad because I keep missing those. I should, I should like go back and watch the VODs. Well, they're VODs for a reason. I do feel bad that he can't put them on YouTube, which is dumb. I mean, he owns the rights to the music he's using. But they're still blocking him and saying he doesn't, and giving him all sorts of fits and not letting him actually post them right. Muting sections. And... So yeah, he's not going to bother with it because of that. That's why I purchased a bundle of music that is legally permitted use for any form of media or video games or any sort of creation and that's what I use I mean that's what you guys are listening to 
I literally went and bought some of these bundle packs on Humble and stuff just so I'd have music mm -hmm. that That's great. I knew we had rights to use. Mm -hmm. So it's the world we live in. It's pain in the butt, but you got to jump through their hoops. But yeah, it's been fun. Um, to mention, like I said, to mention to Matt as well, you know, if you uh, have <clears throat> War Tales and want to play, let us know. And if you have Dark Tide is another one we've been doing on Steam, let us know. And then on, if you pick up uh, King Crusader Kings 3 at some point, probably a new computer comes first on some of these, I get that. Let us know. Oh yeah, everything uh, everything's pretty much on hold now uh, ex until the PC comes in. Once oh, the yeah. PC comes in, then then we'll be looking at some other stuff. Oh yeah. Where are you, by the way? Where are you? Uh, how are you on that? Over halfway. Uh, about halfway. Um, I'm looking at um, dropping off the the monitor that I was looking at. I'm just trying to see if I can find one separately for cheaper. Um, if I do that then I'm, I'm much closer than halfway <laughs> so i um i actually have a spa, like a spare monitor that not not one of the ones that i'm using here um i have one that's just like literally out here on the floor it's like a 27 inch monitor like if we can we can work something out you can take that off my hands <laughs> it's not amazing but it's a monitor for you no no it's a very it's a very good acer monitor yeah, I mean, gotcha. it's not like a large screen one no. or a curved one or anything immaculate. No. It's a good, reliable 27-inch basic monitor yep. would be my Absolutely. guess. <clears throat> but yeah. We can that, talk about that later. Yeah. So, without further ado, let's begin the next session. Get into things. Well, lovely crew, who wants to recap last session's events? So I'll give it a go. Sounds good. And, uh... We zoom in and see Blackstone in the room. <laughs> we go inside his mind to recount the events that unfold. So, after our previous encounter we get back zid's wiped like he's he's like so wiped out brain got absolutely screwed up he's uh he's taking a, a few rest days or a couple of rest days um terminal's just snoozing on the bed we're taking and <clears throat> seamus and i take a walk around um we go, we go into the, the cavern that we found, uh, that Seamus so, um, eloquently, the, like physically eloquent, like he, he revealed, he concealed the stash so well that it, so it opened up a path into this cavernous or this, this cavern or this cave space. And we walked, we walked through that and made our way through and um it's dark and we got we got flashlights out and we're walking through there and then we see this 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 mark on the wall and it's like a gash it looks like something purposefully hacked at the wall like with a metal talon and then we come across a body this, this dude is just laying there and dead. He's kind of like he's kind of like sitting up, but we can tell he's dead because his like his visor's all crushed, and he's got like a big gaping wound on his uh, on his abdomen. So we, we we take a look at that and find out something very important. This person has cyberware. And the cyberware includes subdermal armor. And this subdermal armor, you know, it's supposed to heal whenever you like 
like get like it gets messed up this isn't healing after getting like slashed so he he, he died because his his cyberware like was all screwed up um and so what we wanted to do we wanted to figure out like what the hell did this so we we grabbed the the helmet and we we took it away and we we walked back and we put it in the stash and um we combined the stashes together so that we don't have to worry about the other one we combined the stashes together and with the stuff that we brought from the other stash uh i was uh, i was able to like a boss um figure out like how to like jerry rig the hell out of this thing to at least get the final image this thing looks like we couldn't really see like the face we couldn't see like the body all we saw was their hand and we saw like met like basically metal talon fingers and they look very menacing and then that was when we like packed it in put the put the helmet back in there um i took all i, I walked back to the um the room seamus thought that it would be a good idea to go check on his contact to see if maybe you know he put the token out before we went and left to, to go in the cave he put the token out um and when we came back uh, we, he decided to like go in and look and he gets into the room door closes behind him and then the power then the lights go out and that was scary and uh yeah um and then somebody starts talking to him starts asking him all these questions and Seamus and his and his being his being himself his fixer self starts asking questions back and um doesn't really like the answers he gets back so he kind of starts to like lunge after him and he misses him and he gets finally gets gets out of there um and he comes back to the the room where I'm talking to Zid because Zid just got the shit scared out of him by somebody else. <laughs> and um, yeah, so we've got we've got stalkers, and we have this this thing that's got metal metal claws that can kill people with subdermal armor. So this is gonna get fun real soon. What's that? Very good. And so, yes, it is now. We are in your room. Speak to one. Figure out what you do from here. Is it? How's uh? How was that sleep? So when did this visitation happen? <laughs> was it during the before sleep? Before I got before I got back. Like you got woke up by that person. And this yeah, was got... in person? Did I get shook or something? I don't know. Because I wasn't there whenever it happened. Um No, you were you had gotten up and were eating and stuff and this person just comes in. said what exactly they asked you why you didn't keep your word and why you guys didn't meet up with them and as soon as another person in the complex oh, started coming by word. he ran off uh, I, have a, I have a theory sorry um so my understanding like this is this is where i started theory crafting like last session like um I didn't, I'm sitting there and I'm discussing this with, with them. Like, so we know they can they can manipulate memories. We know that they can zap us and give us new bodies, new brains, put them and probably put the memories there, whatever they want. So my thought is that your the the memory of your promise got zapped. And so you didn't keep your promise because you didn't know you had made a promise to start with. Um, and obviously the, like the, the people that are stalking us, they don't know this. 
or maybe they don't care, but I do think, uh, I believe that I wanted to retrain, like backtrack to the original, like the, the very first battle that we had whenever we were Reds. But I think I wanted all of us there. And I didn't, I didn't want you to, I didn't want to wake you up. I wanted you to have your rest time, so. Um, all right, so in response to his question, to Blackstone's question, Sid, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, man, uh, seems to be, seem to be a little more rested. It is uh, still not comfortable, man. Uh, just thing after thing. Thing, all the uh, all the events from underground <sighs> all the events while we have been here man it is a lot to process this is a lot to contain but I'll be alright I'm glad to hear that says um i i don't know if it is just that we are being messed with once or twice or multiple times man it could be so many things and i can confirm do possess mental I patterns am, Mm -hmm. Conducive to those who have had memory alterations. Okay. Possess what patterns? What? Possess what patterns? Uh, I didn't hear anything, did you? Oh, it's not to you. <laughs> ah. Okay. <laughs> it's all okay. good, man. <laughs> well, you, well, you didn't say it in like a, a, uh, feminine, vo a feminine voice, so I wouldn't. I'm sorry. I don't know. <laughs> Although I have it was been a little bit with such up. a very feminine voice. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be really hard for you to let me just get voice. my voice yeah. <laughs> Um Yeah, so um Zid Zid He's like Yes, um we have could have been messed with uh, different ways. He's lost his track of thought. He's like, um, it seems to me that it is time to take responsibility for what we can do here to uh, shift our situation um i have had enough of running around and performing these duties that this fucking overseer has put into us <laughs> i'm done man <laughs> oh, he seems so to have uh, come a little bit around um, and perhaps I don't know what um, and uh, I'm guessing um, I'm guessing that Seamus is here as well yeah Seamus looks like he saw a ghost I believe is how he described it last time. It looked like I heard a ghost. Heard a ghost. I didn't see anything. True. It probably looks like the color of his wall. <laughs> He's like... <clears throat> there is, um... This concept that I uh, have come across multiple times of a ghost in the machine, man. <sighs> yeah, we know you've got one in you. And 
And we, we, we see you... Like, I feel... Looking around. <laughs> Sorry. I feel that there is... Perhaps mistrust or resentment or... You are speaking to me differently these days. If... If I come across as treating you differently, it is not the intent, and I apologize. It is less you, Blackstone, and perhaps a little stronger from Seamus. I understand that this is not an easy thing to just blankly accept, and if you won't... I understand. What I just is want your, to make sure. Uh, concept. I just want to make sure that you're you. That's still. I trusted Zid. I still do. I'm not saying that I don't trust. It's ever happened to you, but. If it's making you not you, or getting rid of Zid, then I've got a problem with it. Me too, man. If it uh, ceases to be me, I would rather not be at all. If you get my drift. No, no, Doc. Stay seated. It's it. He didn't mean it like that. So you have just... been for a little longer than me. Sorry, Many you things to? have happened. You guys, what uh, what is our next step? You say you think you saw a ghost or heard a ghost. Well, I can do. We I can do say... something about. That? So I like right now, like right now we have lots of things in the air. Right now, um, we've got yeah. these we've got these people that seem to think that we made them a promise. Whether we made them a promise or not, I don't know because I don't have I don't have memory of that. Um, I the first mission's still still hazy from when we were Reds. Uh, I'd like to backtrack. Um, the another thing that's in the air is. Um, this thing with metal claws that can apparently like affect cyberware like a sub effect armor to the point that like it doesn't help um that's that's our like to me that's like our main threat to getting out because if we if there's an exit in that ca in that cave that thing is our main hurdle to exiting this this whole place um i or am meeting with the resistance that apparently are there yes so i think that it would be a worthwhile endeavor to backtrack to the initial mission area where we um where we were I, I don't remember much from there. Uh, I just remember where it was. Um, I remember a couple of guys playing cards, and I think that that's where I got this um, this turret from, because I can't remember getting it from the other missions that we were on, and I remember those missions pretty well. The only mission I don't really remember is the first one, so I'm pretty sure that that's where that was. Um, but yeah, I'd like to go back down there and explore a bit unless ye powerful overlord has anything that he wants us to do you recall because we had... do have a counter like we have a counter in our in our hud that's counting down yeah you had one more day of rest you guys had used up one day okay so we have one day remaining we got one day uh, we have one day to do what four people want to do so 
let's pick an order. Let's pick what we want to do and pick an order and do what we can. All right. Uh, internally, I'd like to ask if my visitor, if my um, if my passenger is able to track the input of this countdown, uh, like where that code might have come from or how it has come into the HUD or things like that. And um, uh, and then I would um, just go along with Blackstone's idea. Um, I think that Zid would likely say, there is a possibility, man, that our returning to a previous location might set off red flags uh, uh, in this uh, down state where we have time before our next employment. Are we free to go wherever we want to and how much are we being trapped here, man? I mean, my understanding is that we're like they know where we are um if we step in the wrong place we will obviously it will happen again like we'll immediately get told hey you don't belong here go go away um or shot the what or get or shot, shot. Or, oh yeah or shot yeah or shot um so i mean they're tracking <clears throat> obviously because we have the hud countdown um I do remember that whenever we went into the the, ca the cave and we saw the guy, he didn't have any, he didn't have a designation um, on the HUD. So it makes me think that he was either not a part of the group, not, not a part of the complex and from outside, or he was someone that like was a, a shadow operative or whatever. Um, but yeah, he didn't have a, a designator. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure like we have as, as free of movement as as we we would based on color. And the color hasn't changed. Not yet. Uh -uh. No, nope, still orange. A uh, shameless. Have you heard from this? Uh contact that you had made with the exchange of goods oh that's what uh that's who i tried to talk to uh yesterday and uh let's just see that's when i was hearing things now it could have been him or or someone that works with him but they weren't willing to talk to me, which makes me think it probably wasn't him. I see. Uh, will you come along with us to back to the first mission area to see if we might uh, find what it is that we might be missing? I wouldn't be staying behind. He should, he'd be scared out of his mind that he'd get visited. Yeah, I'm I must visit play. my foot up your arse. <laughs> hey, I'm not the one. I'm not the one that saw a ghost. All right. I'm just. I'm just pointing out facts. I didn't see anything. <laughs> That's not what your face says. <laughs> so I heard something. I didn't see. I didn't see. Okay. Anyone or anything? No. It seems to me that there is so many things affecting us. Things that are potentially messing with us, that are trying to get us to fight amongst ourselves or even within ourselves, man. I think we need to spend this time banding together. You guys gather your stuff to get ready to leave. Doc, wake up. Doc looks surprised as he's looking at his bag. You know, 
grabbing his stuff. Seamus, you see a little note in your stuff that wasn't there before. Blackstone, you see a picture of yourself sleeping last night in your stuff. And Zid, you have a little note in your stuff that wasn't there before. Oh, Blackstone. What you got there? Now you look like you've seen a ghost. I'll turn the, uh, turn the photo over. Let me just see if there's anything written on the back. Okay. Nope. Um, you can tell based on the picture, though, that it was how you were sleeping last night. Which, this is in the morning following those events. Sure. I figured you guys wouldn't be running out at night and activating security no. again. No. Yeah, I'm, I'm, Seamus, I'm not very, I'm not very happy that somebody was in here standing over us. I mean, they got the door open that's only supposed to open when one of us comes in. That's bothersome. That other tells me that they are pretty high ranking in the complex or they have they know what they're doing from a technical standpoint, which I'm I'm kind of shaken. Yep. They're almost on par with me say in my stuff. There's a note you and Seamus both have a little note. Yours says, very simply, What have you done? Right. And that's it. Okay. So I look in my bag. Uh, I look for my Malorian, just to make sure it's there. It's there. Seamus, okay. do you read your note? Yours has a nice little statement for you. I am watching. I will learn the truth. Do they read them out loud or do they just read it? That's themselves? up to them. I'd probably pass just pass it to you guys. Not okay. not read anything, just sure. pass the note around. You guys do see Doc scratching his head as well, going over his stuff. Doc, what's up? I have some things in here that I didn't have. I have components to make a few speed heals. Get on it. So go ahead and roll a d10. One of you do slash red d10. And we'll see how many speed heals he makes. Really? Really? For <clears throat> real? Blackstone. Mm. <laughs> Holy shit. Blackstone. <laughs> Holy crap. Zero. He makes zero. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. Devil one. Wow. <laughs> uh, He's... So he's like, uh, we'll have to do it later with the missions you guys want to do. We'll have to try doing that tonight. Oh, boy. Now that's the start. Hey, yeah. you know what? If that's the worst roll, then that's... Uh, I don't want any more double ones tonight. <laughs> <laughs> You'd rather a 110? Because that would have been a minus 10. Oh. I mean, I got I rolled a one one, and then there's zero. Like, I mean, like, yeah. that's like it, it can't get worse, right? No, you can't. What is a, a ten would have been worse. Do, do we just have well, to? No, like, because it would have been a minus nine. I know, but <laughs> do like, we just have to donate them at that maybe. point. <laughs> I mean, no, if like, minus nine means he tries to do a rush job and messes it all up. Uh, okay. <laughs> I figure so, zero is pretty bad. Yeah, zero. I, I kind of take it as he's like, yeah, no, I'm not doing it now. Sounds good. 
a negative would I mean, have been. I mean, heat. I don't need it anyway. I'm, 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 I'm full up. I feel pretty good. Yeah, it's just if so, you happen um, to get in conflict, Zid? speed heals would be useful. Zid what? Zid flips his note like back and forward like yeah. over a couple of times. Um, he runs his hand across the back and the front to see if there's any artifact um, of imprint other than what's written on there. Um, and um, he, he looks at it and he, and he goes... What have I done? <laughs> Tosses it on the ground. Roll a what uh, sort of fucking interface rule. Is that? <laughs> right. uh, yeah, you guys see Zid say this and throw his card on the floor. Yeah. Not a happy camper there, friend. That was odd. Uh, yeah, I didn't show up. It's weird. I saw the dice roll come out, but I didn't see, see it actually log it. It also didn't um, roll the crit. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna just refresh. Just gonna refresh. That was strange. The first time I've ever seen that. Please hold. <laughs> <laughs> Try again. Confirm. Oh, Matt. Just because it crossed my mind, I'm already going to forget. When we're done tonight, remind me to talk to you about that module we spoke on. That they're working on. Sure. Okay. I will try and do that. Um. Okay. We're, we're not getting anywhere. Oh, um, there's a roll. Let me check my <laughs> it doesn't that is weird and you're on. just doing it from your sheet i saw the dice come on like it's trying i'm just doing i'm just i'm literally just you you click the Stop interface no, no 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 i i'm just testing to see if it works wow minus four because it got a one and a ten I, i'm just trying to make sure it wasn't oh, mine's still only a seven okay that works Finally got there yeah, no, 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 no. I'm just trying to make sure we resolve the issue of it not working was the big thing. Like, I, yeah, I I'd never I got, seen that. I think I got background processes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I wouldn't bless you with a Sorry. minus four on your roll because I was just trying to make <laughs> we'll sure. Take, we'll take the seven. <laughs> <laughs> Still not all that good. But, so you uh, rolled a ten a and then a three was your first rolls, actually, and your rank is five. So that would be an 18. Oh, okay, so... Uh, I'm going to give it to you since it messed up, not you. I don't hold uh, the system messing up against you. I'm not that mean. So as you're scanning over it, you notice your... Um, Netgear, your installed, you know, cyberware that you'd used to connect before kick in and you do see a chip inside the card it's like a little okay. um, key or token chip so I've tossed it to the ground and then Zid like stares at it and he goes, uh, Tombs, there is a chip in there. In the message? In the paper. 
I grab my uh, I grab my photograph and hand it to Zed. Just a photo. You see, it's a tech photo. You see a chip. Okay. So it's kind of like a little holographic not, picture. Okay. And it's just just a picture. Hey Seamus, hand him your hand him your, your note. It has some dimension to it. You can see the basically like the date time it was taken, those details with your um your active. Yep. So I, I let him know exactly like the the artifacts of what I see, the the time and the date and that's yeah. on there. I say the, <clears throat> that is what is on here. I'll pass uh, really my note to you as well, just to double check. Uh GM really quick. Did we um did we make that roll for uh Zid's um like flip? Like if it if he passes then he gets like his deck. That, that's what we're talking about. His cyber deck kicked in. Okay. All right. Never mind. And that's why he's able to see it. He has okay. his cyber deck overlay. All right. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, I take a look at Seamus's note. Same paper, but this one doesn't have a splice section with a chip in it. It uh, looks to me like this is the same paper, Seamus. Maybe the same person or someone in the same office, but Do we... it does not have a chip. Deduction. I think sure. it would probably be the one. Yeah, you guys can do a deduction. All of us? Uh, one of you, looking at the two cards, basically comparing the writing um, and paper and such. Uh, so I'm, a ba I'm a base 13, Seamus. What are you? Uh, which one is that under? Uh, it's under education. education. Uh, you can go for it. Uh, I got sure. a nine. All right. So then you'd ask Zid for the cards so you could compare them. Blackstone. One. You hand him over, Zid? Yeah, sure. So yeah, he, he looks at him, and you're fairly certain this is the same handwriting, same pen, same paper. However, it is very well written. So it's not like sloppy written or like that. It's someone who's skilled at writing. So, it looked like somebody that, like, this is a highly educated person. They have, they have done, like, they have done this consistently and they know what they're doing. Um, I have. Where'd it go? Would an education roll help me? To do what? Um, I guess to figure out like how well versed this person is in what they're trying to do. I mean, it would only really tell you how versed they are in writing. Like you don't really have any way to tell how good they are in other things via their writing. Okay. I didn't know if it like helped like with like forgery or like maybe if I knew like where this person came from, where they got their education. Mm, that would be a little bit hard okay. to tell from writing, I would think. Okay. No worries. Because I mean, someone, everyone can be taught the same handwriting style at different schools, but still have okay. a different hand style writing of their own, right? Makes sense. It's just, you can tell this person has practiced it, has excelled at it. They know what they're doing with it. It's not just they've learned the basics of writing. Like they have taken like calligraphy classes sort of thing where they sure. do more than just basic yeah. writing. Okay. Especially in this world where most things are just done via electronic message, right? Yeah, absolutely. Like, so I'm I'm holding up, I'm holding up both cards. I'm looking at them, and I'm looking at the like the way that specific letters are formed, and I can 
I can tell that the same person wrote these. I can tell that they were written with purpose. Mm -hmm. This wasn't just a fly, like this wasn't just like fly by night. This wasn't like hastily scrawled together. This, these were, this is a person that knew that knows what they want to do. And they're, they're serious. Mm -hmm. This is not, this is not a joke for anyone that thought that we were just being messed with the, the people that did this, the people that stood over me and took my picture, the people that wrote the person actually, because I'm pretty sure it was just one person that did this. They have serious beef. They think that we were supposed to do something that we did not do. Um, I would like to go back to the, well, keep keep in mind just quick thing the mm -hmm. guy that talked to Zid about you guys breaking your promise okay. was not presenting himself as a skillful person oh no he's he's a lackey he's yeah so whoever wrote the notes and that guy are certainly not the same person no no this is this is a group um I, I would wager that whoever we made a promise to is not, is the, is the person that wrote the note. But the person that we made the promise to has, it's a group that we made the promise to as opposed to just the person. And we just, I have no memory of it. None of us have any memories of this. I think oh. that there are probably multiple people from multiple things that are trying to do things. This does not seem this this seems very aggressive. But I in agree. paper form with writing, it seems formal. What the hell is going on? <laughs> oh, so is it, um I just remembered at the beginning you asked your internal companion a question. What was that? Sure. It was, it was to see whether she was able to find, like, to, to track the source of where right. the, overlay, the overlay, like, the updates that, to the overlays and everything was coming from. To that see installation that was done during the, uh, at the end of the uh, debrief. You all received a packet with that info. Okay. And it initiated it. Yeah, it, it, it was sort of just like whether, like if, if that's come in like a packet that's been introduced and then yeah. changed, that's interesting. So is there coding in the packet? That sort of stuff, like what's, is yeah, there a way it, it to... Was, it was a very basic delivery of you know, open timer, initiate timer with, you know. Okay, fairly simple day time. programs. Yes. He says, I am so confused. We have someone who is trying to speak violently, but is doing so in written notes. We have somebody who says that we have promised something that none of us remember, and maybe we did, and maybe we didn't. We have someone coming uh, and speaking to Seamus who may or may not be the person that he made contact with we we know nothing man <laughs> don't forget about the person that stood over me and took my picture that too what what and, is going and, on and left me chemicals for making speed heal Yes, Doc. We get it. Somebody gave you a present. Are you sure there is no poison in said uh, vials? Well, I mean, you could potentially derive a poison or a toxin from it, but you'd have to do the inverse of the student for the speed heal. So it would basically convert it to damage, but <laughs> that would be more complex, and I would need an additional chemical right, that we don't oh, have. Um, can I, uh, can I do a, um, 
I'll resist torture drugs uh, from Doc. <laughs> yeah, from Doc so to uh, like have him like <laughs> dip his dip his finger and like taste it <laughs> just to see. <laughs> Oh man! I thought you were saying you wanted to do a resist torture and drugs because Doc was talking. Talking. Yeah. That's what I thought at first too. <laughs> I mean, I have a base of five, so I would fail. Oh man! Doc's got a twelve. He would at least have some semblance of success, probably. Anyway, we're good. Um, yeah, I, I definitely want to. Uh, I want to get to the bottom of this, uh, Zid. Um, I would very much like to. I think that our first priority should be going and retracing our steps back to the first mission just to, so we can, if I feel like if we're there, then something is going to like jog, like something is going to jog a something memory, like maybe they hid the memory instead of just zapped it. Maybe we just, they severed the, the synaptic connection in our brain. And if we go there and we like see and smell like olfactory sets is supposed to be something that is a very um a very good way to reestablish memory like so i i would very much like to backtrack to our first mission yeah i would like to quickly canvas the room for the purposes of asking my passenger whether she can see if there's any uh if there's any recording or surveillance devices actually watching us in our rooms so i like i give it I give the room a quick okay and i would again in code all of this you said is in code but um would would, would mention that yeah so yeah that that you, is you do see actually... that there is a hidden device that is a camera now that you have your overlay And we still have that chip you can get as well that was in your letter if you want. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll grab the chip. So the chip can be inserted into something. something. Yeah. So you pick it up and it scans it. You notice that when you flip the chip over, there's electronics on it that switches the name. And you, like you're holding it up looking at it. And you see the name above Blackstone changes to something else. The overlay of Blackstone's name? Yeah, his name is no longer Blackstone above his head. It no longer says Blackstone 0-2. It was Bill-Y-3. They're using the same framework and just... Okay. Yeah, but you move it away and his name's back. Fine. Same for um, Yeah, it's a different name, though. You guys are looking at Zid... And his name is not Zid anymore. Um, well, Zid. this might be an interesting ticket. What's his name on? is George B. Five. When did you be? When did you turn blue, sir? When did you change your name to George? <laughs> I'm more interested in the color designation. Well, we might be able to use it, man. And when, when, yeah, like so, I am apparently yellow now. What color is Seamus? I, I, I read out. Maybe, what, what maybe Seamus is a. You v? look back at Seamus through it, and you see he is a. Um, he's a Y. So both, both of them are yellows. But then you notice oh. as you're looking at him, it seems like it switches and he goes to B, and the name changes to someone else. Okay. Almost like right. somehow it can flip who it's designating the person as. But you're only seeing this through the chip when you like put the chip in front of him. And when you move it back towards you, it flips yours. So they keep seeing it flick. So it's proximity. Yeah. Okay. Is it? I have an idea. Um, so 
would this be able to get us into different areas that are only available to yellows or blues? Keep in mind, your clothes do have a color marking on them as well. Maybe it says, Shannon's um, perhaps, uh, perhaps a little, but uh, there are other barriers. I wonder if your friend could maybe hard code that 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 designation. I mean, we would need we could, to like, find an acceptable designation for that to be plausible. Uh, he says one thing at a time. Let us go do the thing that you said. Let okay. us see if there is any information and perhaps if these people are there, we could ask them what the hell they were talking about. Um, and if not, well, we will deal with it then. Uh, I think one course of action at a time. Let's act. We have limited time. Uh, and uh, then we will see what is what. Yes, let's do that. All right. All right, Doc, get up. Let's go. So, off you head. Mm -hmm. Zid. All the network nodes as you're passing them are visible today. Because it is on. <clears throat> Are you a kid in a candy store, my friend? Um, I just see this twinkle in your eye. The world is a nicer place. <laughs> Are you enjoying you? Uh, are you enjoying having someone to talk to without actually talking? No, not really. <laughs> I give him. I give him a pat on the back. But information is good, man. Uh, there are things that I cannot uh, process as quickly, and perhaps it will give us a leg up. Uh, so I'll, I'll just take note of these network nodes. I think Zid wants to do something with them a little bit later um, when there might not be quite so many people around because we are in the middle of the day and people oh, yeah. walk the corridors. So perhaps when there might be a break or... But it does depend on when we get back and things like that. So Absolutely. at this stage, focus on one thing. Let's go. Um... Before we before we go over to the old mission place, let's go to the stash and get what we need. Do you really? Can we move all that? To the stash? We can we we combine them, but we like if we're gonna get. Do you want to be unprepared for a firefight, sir? He says. No, I'm just concerned about moving all of the stuff back through the complex again. Okay. That's there two, the two entrances, before. right? Or is it one entrance? I mean, There's two different I'll, I'll... entrance locations that are being talked about. Yeah. There's the current stash that then leads into a natural cavern, as well as the route down to the old complex. Yeah. And then there is that abandoned section that you first went to. Yeah. That is through a different I think we entrance. get our gear for if we go to this new section, but Zid's not convinced that we need it for going to the old one. Okay. I'll, 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 it's perfectly fine. I'll uh, I'll go with what the, the group wants. I'm not going to rock the boat, so to speak. So let's... Now, now Seamus, I'm looking at you. I'm, I'm going to need your silver tongue if... If we start hitting, getting into shit. So, warm so, up that tongue of yours. After a bit of a walk, you get to the location. Should he at least buy me dinner first? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll just wink at you. 
and the door that you went through before has caution tape over it and a do not proceed sign. On our HUD, do we see any like blockage? Oh yeah, it, basically in the HUD, it shows the do not enter sign. Um, Sid, can your um, can your friend help? He um, and I just hate to, uh, I, hate to, I, I just oh, go ahead. He just like ducks under the tape to see if the HUD actually registers that we're in there to see if that much coding has happened as you approach he's ready immediately step out again he just yeah puts as you approach there. the do not enter banner it flips to a warning yeah All just right. in proximity he, yeah he he steps back again um he says it seems that they, uh, the complex may have cottoned on to the fact that there were people down there. As you're saying um, that, I want a perception check from Seamus because he's not been directly involved in this. He's out looking off to the side. And Doc, Seamus and Doc would so do I'll a perception talks. check. Okay. That's what, oh, well, close enough. Nice. So. Seamus, you see down the hall, people are avoiding. Doc is looking down a different hall, and he actually sees some security officers talking to a guy who's pointing at the door and, like, shrugging his shoulders, like. I want to read their lips. You don't know about it yet until they tell okay. you. All right. I would like to attempt to read their lips. <laughs> the guy's walking by or you, Doc would probably bump you and point it out to you. I could see that. Copycat. So did I not, but did I not see him or? You saw the people walking, like kind of avoiding this area. They were coming down and kind of just oh, avoided okay. it. Doc was looking the other way and sees this security officer talking to the guy. Yeah, I mean, if he'll let me know, I'll, I'll turn and try to look. Or I could just spend luck on Doc. And Doc's got a five. Uh, Doc usually has been talking with Seamus quite a bit, so I could see him bumping Seamus. Okay, like, that's cool. Seamus. And then, yeah, Seamus could tell you as well, or... How about it? Do his lip reading, which he did. He did. Nice. Very nice. So you see the guys talking like, I don't understand, they're just mushrooms. What's wrong if I found a spot where there's some mushrooms? It's an unauthorized substance. They're just mushrooms. And you can see that it's just, it's not going anywhere. And they eventually haul the guy off. He's pointing. Probably he's pointing. The guy who was saying it was at just some... mushrooms was pointing down at the door that you guys were the looking. That we're looking at? Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, I get it. You get it? You get what? <laughs> um, Seamus, you were interrupted. Sorry, go ahead. I was just gonna say that I would have, I would wait for them to wander off and then just kind of relay that to the other two. So, what is your thought there, Azrael? So, I, um, I'm talking to low boys. Um, hey guys, uh, so. Now that I, I don't think that this was 
cordoned off because of what we did. I think this was cordoned off because of what he did. So... I think that... I want to go through. Are you fucking mad, man? <laughs> you don't have to come with me. Blackstone steps towards it as he says it, and immediately the symbol flips to warning. I stand there for 10 seconds. I'm going to walk there. the other way. I'm, I'm just sort of like... If you don't move closer, it just stays warning. I'm going to take one... I'm going to take five steps. All right. What is Doc, Seamus, and Zid doing? So, can you lay out what this hallway looks like? Like, is there a, like a corner that we can slip around? Is this there's, just a big open hallway? There's a T intersection is where you're at. So, one part of the T is a doorway that you guys are looking at. One is the hall you came down. And one is the hall that you guys looked up to that has another intersection where the security guys went off. And the other one has a intersection that goes around a corner. So I'm standing here at the door. Yeah. Is it just so you're, like a long hallway to one yeah. side and a long hallway so to the front? If you're looking at the door, you have the hallway you came down behind you. That okay. leads to some other halls, you know, kind of the network of the place, rooms off the halls. To your right, if you're looking at the door to your right, there is a hall that goes down a bit and then takes a corner going to the left. So forward towards okay. the door that you're looking at. And then to your left, up a ways, there's, it looks like there's a room, and then there's another corridor. It continues on further, but then it breaks off to back behind where you guys came from as well. So two parallel rooms. So it's basically a lot of parallel halls. And, you, and there's rooms, but not necessarily the access point in the hall you're in. The hallway to the right... Um... Roughly how far is it before it curves, before it turns again? About 30 feet. Um, or no, no, no. It was more like 60 feet. It was 60 feet. Different color on the floor, or is it something that I could potentially uh, walk down? Uh, up where it turns, it, it's blue. And there's a, okay. ins um, th there's a security sign there, so... You have a feeling around that corner was a security sign, a security area. I think uh, Seamus is probably going to grab Doc and start walking back the direction we came if Blackstone starts stepping through here. Okay. And and to be clear, Doc was looking down at that corner where they were questioning the guy, and they brought him around the corner to security. You were looking up at the other way, and you saw people veering off down that other hall instead of coming straight towards you and then veering. So they're avoiding the area. Got it. So, all right. And so you're doing what with Doc? He's walking back the way that, they, that we came. Back the yeah, way you guys came? Kind of grab Doc's arm a little bit and kind of just hopefully draw him back towards the way we came. Sure. Zid? Not any, like, not with particularly a lot of speed. Just right. kind of... Almost trying to look nonchalant and trying to stay out of trouble if something goes south. Right. Right. So I'm I'm conflicted here because there's a thing that Zid would do. I think that that's negative though to the situation. And role playing is sort of about a cooperative effort with everybody. So I'm gonna say to Azriel the player the thing that zid's thinking is blackstone's about to get himself killed right so he he wants to prevent this um what what would not ruin the situation because part of zid here is he wants to be like oh look somebody is is uh risking uh 
like somebody's um, uh, on the edge and come and see right to to people in the hallway as if they might like what you might do when there's a fight you know but yeah. um, to, to, to note that someone's um, doing doing something um, sort of dangerous yeah. and, and call attention to call attention to them yeah is this okay I don't know if that ruins your plan I'm I'm technique right now I'm like testing boundaries um so so I got a warning right now because I've stepped over the line um but if I take five steps forward my what I'm thinking is where's the boundary like I'm obviously over the boundary but like how far well you're I not go? over you're not over the actual um do not enter sign when you get within like four steps of the do not enter sign okay it clicks to a warning okay but i haven't actually passed it you haven't passed the warning point yet and you haven't passed the do not enter sign okay. yet i've decided what i want to do um would you be okay Azriel, or uh if perhaps at some point you've told zid the name of one of your family members who's missing Oh uh, yeah. Like I mean, the so the relationship that at least the relationship I feel like Zed and I have, uh, we're we're comfortable enough with each other, and we're, um, for lack of a better term, like like we have a like a big brother, big brother, little brother, like thing going, or at least I think that we do. So yeah, I mean, I feel like uh, we probably would have confided confided in each other like that way. Um, over like a meal or something. So yeah, go for it. Zid, Zid says aloud, but not loud enough for the whole fucking place to hear. Um, and he says, God, if you are up there, please watch over name of Blackstone's yeah. um, family, because he will no longer be able to rescue them. <laughs> he, he sort of starts to say this prayer as Blackstone walks toward the thing. Uh, stop in my tracks. <laughs> and I do a about face on my heel. And I look at Zid. And I think for a good 10 seconds. I think. I breathe because I know that I know I know what he's doing <laughs> and and we take a break <laughs> thank you all give us 10 minutes and we will be live again and continue this amazing story be sure to tune in to find out what happens with Blackstone does he get himself killed or not We'll be back in 10 minutes.
So, where we left off, Blackstone had just been called out by Zid. Zid praying, if there's a god up there, please take care of... What was her name? Uh, I, just put it, I just put it in there. Matilda? Be with Matilda. Blackstone's not going to be there to take care of her. And we see Blackstone's and, uh, face. So before, uh, before I about face, I just I stand there, and this is. We're gonna flashback. Um, so what do I do? I hear. I hear the name. Hmm? And. I'm immediately transported back to just I think I was probably six or seven years old sitting sitting in the dining room having my morning bowl of porridge that my mother made for me. My mom sitting down with her eggs and toast. My dad, he's, he's gone to work already. I talk to talk to her. Let's see the the necklace that she's wearing. We're just discussing talking about I guess I probably have an exam that day. It's probably a Friday. I'll talk to her and I just, I look at her, and I can see, I can see that she's got something going on at work, and I ask her, Mom, what's wrong? She starts talking, she starts telling me about not to worry. Um... She's just had, she's just noticed a few things that have happened to her lately, like <clears throat> some strange, strange messages, strange emails. Sometimes she gets, she, she notices, uh, like she can just feel somebody watching her, like as she's on her way home. And this is this is very bothersome for for me at six and seven years old to hear this. But she's told, she tells me not to worry, so I don't worry. Um, so I I tell her about she she asks like, honey, don't worry, like. Just tell me, tell me about, tell me about the, the test that you have today. Like, it was probably a science test. Um, and, and we just talk about that and um, but that day, that day at school, I, I can't stop thinking about it and um, that's one of the few tests that I don't do well on because I'm so worried. Um, that also happens to be the last time I saw her. So 
I, I, I come out of I come out of the flashback, and I turn around, and I, I walk, walk up to Zid, and. Zid, Zid looks at my face and he can see he can see a tear running down my face Zid, I, I, I understand why you did that And I get like, I get like right here. Okay. This, this is. This is very difficult for me. I need you not to do that again. I care about you like a brother, but I need you not to do that again. Thank you for doing it. But that's that card, that card's been burned. You can pick a different tactic next time, but that card's member. I appreciate what you did. Thank you for saving saving me. But let's let's use a different tactic next time. Is it and just nods? He doesn't say anything. He, he nods. Put his head down a little bit slumps his shoulders and and I I put my hand on his shoulder it's okay I know why you did it and I appreciate why you did it okay. but that's it's the body water, language of water the un, kid. Water, yeah water under the bridge we will move forward thank you Let's let's catch back up to Doc and Seamus. Seamus. Meanwhile, <laughs> yeah. Seamus is Seamus. You'd gotten Doc to go ways down. You look back over your shoulder, almost expecting to hear an alarm, and you see Seamus and Black's or. Is it in Blackstone? Really close. Like Blackstone turned around and went back to Zid and was like right in his face. And you see that, you know, not too far down the hall from where you are. But you can see that something transpired there. <clears throat> Seamus looks to Doc and says. First Blackstone tried to got me to use my silver tongue I guess he's starting to get <laughs> into use his now <laughs> and just gives Doc a slap on the back Look, I don't know if Zid or Blackstone would um, see Seamus but he, he gives him like a quick smile and nod and kind of keeps heading a, maybe a bit slower than he was before but keeps heading that direction. And I rolled to randomly see if the anything had happened there. I was like, there's a chance someone would have poked around since it was left exposed. I toy I toyed with the idea of like giving giving Zed a nice slap on the face. Ah. But... 
that would have been that's not something a big brother would do to a little brother so good mind uh, not in that circumstance, probably not. I think you knew our brother, but me and my brother. I'm sure there'll be an occasion for that to happen before long, right? Oh, yeah. Do you guys make your way away from there? Where do you guys want to go? What do you want to do? Well, I've used up mine, so I'll follow them. If there's, I mean, so obviously we're not getting through that, that door and we're not getting through the security door down there because we can't go that way. It looks is there, like it's shut. I mean, we're not going to, we're not going into the cave. Unless you guys, do, we do could you guys want to go in the cave but... and fight this, fight this like thing with the, the friggin metal claws that can cut our heads off I'm, I'm up for ideas my idea didn't work out it was a good idea mm -hmm. we want to know that someone had put mushrooms down there and was growing them <laughs> perhaps or found them Ooh. and was using them Damn. Um, I just I just thought of something. And, um, so he was talking about mushrooms. Um, we can't smell that far, right? Mm -mm. So yeah, all right. Mushrooms are good ways down from where. You... Damn. Okay. I do wonder if um, if at one point that won't be cordoned off anymore. Or if that's going to be permanent, so maybe we can revisit that later. Um, let's go. Let's go into the end of the cave. If you guys don't have a better idea, what about you, Shamus? This hasn't worked out. What do you think? I don't know if going into the cave is going to get us anywhere if we don't have equipment. I mean, we've got a few things uh, stored away, but at the same time, <clears throat> we're just a couple of meat sacks, and it just kind of thumps his chest. I'm sure we'll be back. Though, it seems we might have a limited number of tries to come back. What does Doc think? Or does he just want to target? Doc just grunts. <laughs> Look, if you all want to go in the caves and try to snoop around or find that thing, I think with the, f the rest of the crew, I think we have a better chance. As for anything else, I can't really. I can. We could go poking around for the contact, but what happened last time? It might be best to wait for him to contact us. Into and the unless, cave we go. Unless I've missed something, we don't really have a lead to these mysterious notes and pictures and stalkers. So is it? Uh, it says. The cave is fine, man. I do not wish to find said creature, whatever it is. I, f I wish to find the resistance. But if we come across different resistance, it is what it is. There is two other things that I can think of. He says, possibly I could put this chip in the uh, slot and we could uh, see what that does and what that might open for us. Or I could, uh, say, plug into one of these network nodes when it is quiet or perhaps around a shady corner and see what it is I might find. 
none of these seem to be better than the other. One of these is only by myself, and I cannot get your help, and I do feel a little vulnerable right now. I would prefer to uh, journey with you and have you by my side. Um, that ship, does that count as cyberware? Maybe. Um, I think is it, it is but an input. Is it hand me that hand me that chip, please? Okay. I'm gonna roll cyberware to see if I can see maybe what's maybe what's on it. Yes, thank you. Thank wow. you. Ooh. I want to see what's on this damn thing. You've never seen chip before. You know nothing about this technology. But it is a based on cyberware technology. Not itself cyberware, but based on similar technology. You get a feeling it's similar to an RFID. Basically, do I think that identifier? Hmm? Do I think that this would change his identifier if he put, if he uploaded it? Maybe, maybe not. You guys do right, see so... that Blackstone's name is not Blackstone right now. So it changes the identifier based on who's holding it. What is my name right now, Sid? Is it Bill? Bill Y? <laughs> no, it's Ted. But it is still Y. It's not. It's not Johnny. Hmm. That's no fine. Johnny. Um, I'm afraid. Okay. No. All right. Do, they, do these meat sacks have um, have slots in them? Not that you found. So Zed, does your meat sack have a have a slot in it? When you when you feel uh, feel it around on your neck? I ask the question to my passenger. Fortunately the cyberware is all organic. Ever there's no installation point. However, the chip, my head. the chip is an override. So whoever it's on seems to be have their identity altered yeah so I sort of say Blackstone it is kind of like a a band-aid a mask that you might put on something like that where you slide it on and it is a different face but it's still the same inside as he's saying this, it just dawns on you. Your contact didn't have a name that you could read correctly. How was that possible? Hmm. So you think you may have seen one of these in action before? Okay. Okay. I walk up to walk up to Seamus. I'm still holding the chip. I walk up to Seamus and Seamus. Is it possible that your contact is the person that we broke the promise to? I don't think so. Paid him what I said I would pay him, I believe. Is it possible what promise would we have broken? Well, we don't remember. Um, I should. We should remember that, right? Like when I when I asked about the promises, I'm, I mean, wipe. yeah. Okay. Is it possible that your contact was working with the person we made the promise to? I don't know. I don't know much about him. Okay. 
so I but when I'm... don't know who he made the promise to either so you know I mean I could draw I could connect one dot to a question mark that's kind of what we're doing here mm, seems like we have no answers but uh, I would perhaps... keep getting a lot of questions though uh, perhaps if you find one of these groups, either your Seamus or this Resistance, maybe they're the same, maybe they're not. We have eliminated the possibility for now to reach out to the possible group that might okay. be in the old tunnels. So maybe we try the new tunnel and see if yeah. we can eliminate that too. Let's do it. I give the I give the chip back to Zid. Okay. He secrets away somewhere that's safe, a pocket. Mm -hmm. His name changes, right? Yeah. Okay. Unless this, he chooses uh, to put it in like a pocket that's protected. Yeah. Does it? Uh, does it? Sorry. Does it? Um. Does it stay changed mm -hmm. now that it's on him? Okay. So it doesn't like flicker or anything. No. But it does okay. change once in a while. All right. He would put it as far. He would put it in a far off place on himself to try and make it so that it says Zid most of the time. Yeah. Um. Your guest informs you that you can probably put it inside a protective pouch that would block the signal. I do that. I don't want to get called out by. A guard that happens around the corner and I'm mm -hmm. two different types of colors <laughs> the uh the shadow person last session it he it he whatever called me by a name correct mm -hmm. okay yep call it, 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 oh, it called you Seamus right it didn't call you a different name correct okay and it also mentioned Blackstone Into the, into the breach we go. We're into the cave. Into the thick of it. Let's do it. I mean, Sid will try uh. to remain quiet. Um, his intention is to try and find the resistance, not to try and stumble across a massive beast with huge claws that can tear him into multiple little parts. Greatly so. <laughs> You see Doc keep looking over his shoulder with like a puzzled, almost concerned look on his face. What's wrong, buddy? I think there's a guy following us. I'll turn around. You don't see anyone seeming like they're following you. There's people going side halls and stuff. What's he look like? A guy. Beard, glasses. I don't get a very good look at him. It's the same one that keeps showing up. Um, hard to say with so many people that don't look too different. Points back to the you know busy intersection behind you. So we're not in the cave yet, right? No, you're on your way there. When he mentions right. this. Is our room between here and the cave? It's kind of off to the side. So the three points would be the old place that you just were at, the new cave that you're talking about, and then your room are kind of like triangular from each other. Okay. Um, Zid goes, oh, I think I forgot something. Uh... I, I am so stupid. I think I'll just run back to my room and meet up with you guys in a minute. Uh, like, uh, he winks. I, he winks at both, both of them. And, I, uh, I, look at, I look at him and I, I, I give him a, um, like a non-verbal, like, like a non-verbal question, like, you okay? Like, 
Oh yeah, yeah. He 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 like takes off toward <coughs> where Doc is kind of looking, but he's looking to get to his room. Um, but he, he moves pretty quickly. Uh, you can see, uh, based on Zid's body language and stuff, that he's on a mission and he's totally fine. I give him a, I give him a thumbs up and see you soon. We'll wait. We'll wait at the entrance for you. He knows where it is, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll we'll wait for you. That's the entrance that was used when we picked up a passenger. Yes. Sorry. It's all good. Yeah. All right. So I I, I make uh, quick work to 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 backtrack toward the room, and I'm looking for suspicious people on the way or activity. Well, a perception. I'm going to spend my first point of luck for this session. Mm. Hey. Roll a deduction. Sure. Oh boy! Oh Ooh. boy! 10, 10, 33. Nice. So, you're on your way, and you look back over your shoulder, and you see this guy not walking normally. Kind of like hurriedly, and looking like he's trying to be nonchalant. So you turn back around and follow him. You see he's heading right for the group seems to have his eye on the three of them as they travel and keeps like hiding his name is 404 Seems unusual, right? It, it very unusual. No color, just four or four. Yeah, you know what that means, right? Four or four. Error. Yeah. Okay, so four or four error means the resource not found. His name is not found. In other words, so it's getting an error back when he tries to ID him. How close am I to security right now? Uh, you could probably rise them because they usually be about, but you don't see any new right? You haven't exactly uh, identified all points of security. Yeah. Um, well, I definitely don't want to um, let this guy know that I've seen him or seen the error, but I would like to I don't know like maybe make a roll to see if I can draw some attention to him without drawing attention to myself I don't know what sort of role that is but that's kind of Zid's intent I should looking at him roll another perception all right I'm not gonna spend luck on the second it's a good roll 21 you think you see something like a different shadow move next to him. That's not his. It cast on the wall. I don't know what to make of that as a player. Does it know what to make of that? Say that again? Deduction, maybe? 
I said that I don't know what to make of the shadow as a player, and I asked DM if the if Zid knew what to make of it, and he's asking me to see via deduction. So okay, sorry. Yeah, I mean like yeah, survival okay, cool. deduction. <gasps> yeah. What is going on? <laughs> okay, Zid's on it. Zid's on it. Yeah. 28. So another deduction at ten with plus five, making it twenty-eight. Mm-hmm. This is Zed's <laughs> night. Apparently. You piece it together <laughs> that... Like oh my god. Yeah, go ahead. It seems like someone is moving. Potentially on all fours. Scurrying somewhere higher up. But past him. Heading the same direction with him. Not with him. But... Seen where he's going, or following him, or the group as well. And I've seen, uh, I've seen the little um, roof bugs that were looking at, down at us and before. Can, can not one of those, make... though. Yeah, it's not bigger one than of one of those. Okay. And our surveillance that we it seemed more like humanoid scurrying on off. This is really disturbing. Um, and you only get the fact that it's humanoid scurrying on all four because of you got a stinking 28 deduction on it. <laughs> so dumb. Um, I, I don't think that its intention is changed he's all sorts of creeped out but he i think still wants to grab security i'm trying to think of something else that he would think of right now but nothing really comes to mind how do you he want... just wants them to know yeah how do you want to grab security to alert them to the guy because there's Technically, potentially, hundreds of ways you could do it. It's just which way does Zid think of to try to draw attention to this guy? It's a good question. Does anyone else have ideas? I'm my player, <laughs> Matt, so, is having trouble. So, for for me, like the the way that I'm the way that I'm thinking about it is that. Um, it sounds like somebody's invisible. Um, so the person, like the 404 person, they're, it sounds like something's up with like, like their, how they're being perceived from like the, the interface standpoint. Like they have like a, a hack that they're using. That's just yeah. what, that's what, that's what it sounds like to me. Um, Maybe it sounds, um, it sounds like they figured out a way to like hack the system, which is the entire like how they've not been found out thus far is mind blowing to me. That makes me think that like they've got like they are like a high end. Like, as you're they... thinking and wondering this, you actually start noticing some people were talking and you see security looking around. Me or him? He does. Okay, that's what I thought. All right, I I th I think I think he would approach them, the security, and he would he would call attention to this, and he and and he would do it as um, concerned citizen. Hey, there was something really weird just back there around the corner. Uh, I don't know exactly what it was, but there was this guy and he didn't have a name above his head. The name was like 404 and there was this strange... Where'd you like, see him? I tell them exactly where. And they run down the hall that direction. Unfortunately, your group has veered off another hall at that point, so the guy is also not in that hall. 
they keep moving. My guess is the group doesn't try to make a straight path blatantly that anyone could follow to the point. Run, run, yeah. I, I didn't think you guys were that dumb. No offense. No. <laughs> what? What do you mean? I, oh, wait, that wait, you guys wait, would make wait, a straight not... path and not try to yeah. lose anyone, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was saying. Like, you guys wouldn't do a straight path that anyone could follow. You'd probably, you know, take a few routes, turns, and whatnot. Um, but yeah, you definitely see security run off the way and try to fight the guy. So you know they're trying to right. track him down. Okay. Um, which also means that if the security do find them, they might also come find across group. my companions mm -hmm. that are trying to get to somewhere that they shouldn't be. Yeah. All right, well, it is what it is. Um, I will uh, I will double back and um, not, f I will go by a different direction to where we were going. All right. Now. I'm trying to think how this would work. Yeah. I think at this point, probably a stealth cool check would be in order. So if you click on cool, and for the mod, you add in your stealth, Let's see what we get. Cool. Um, for everyone. Basically, it's I'm using cool because that's kind of the... How calm and un... Attention grabbing you are. How much, how collected you are. Boom. I think that makes more sense than dex because you guys aren't technically actually sneaking. Because that would be very awkward if you got seen, right? Mm -hmm. So we're clicking cool and added what for mods? Oh, all of us do that? Okay. Yeah, all no. of you. Your okay. stealth okay. modifier. So for... Um, is that a level? So two? Yeah, your level. So yeah, for Blackstone, oh, sorry, it would be two that he would add to eight? his cool rule. Wait, my bait? So, I, so, so my cool is three, but yes. then... Do I add the base of eight or do I no, add no, no. level you, of two? You add your level, which is two. Because we're going to be using cool instead of dex for it. Um, uh, that's fair. So my probably... level was only five, so yeah. seven. Nah, so I got 20 in total. Still, that's not bad. That, that That's not bad. Okay. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. And then we got a 15 and 11. Uh, you want me to get Doc? Let me get Doc real quick. Yep. You got him or you want me to get it? Oh, I'll get it. It's fine. Okay. Uh, so, Zid, you oh. actually can move quite rapidly and just seem like you put on the, uh, the whole I'm a tech guy heading to my job kind of stare, you know, and just <laughs> head that way. Which is why I said cool, right? Because you're not really sneaking. But it's the stealth aspect is how much do you not show your actual intention, right? So that's kind of why I thought that made the most sense. And so you keep your face like locked, like there's an issue with this terminal. I'm headed there to fix it sort of look. Gotcha. The rest of the group takes a bit longer. So you actually get there about the same time as them because you were able to go a lot faster than them and not draw attention to yourself. Um, at one point, like, you come around a corner, and the guy's, like, you know, trying to clean the floor, and he, like, sees you, and he's like, what are you doing? Oh. Just kind of, like, move along. <laughs> and goes back to cleaning. So you guys get are getting to your entry point, and you see Zid coming down the side hall. Somehow he caught up to you all. He's not, like, running. But it's like he just didn't get impeded. Also moving with purpose. Yeah. And you can see that he's probably like shaking his head and like 
doing the 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 no more <laughs> <laughs> he um he will trip over his uh his shoelaces bang his uh uh bang his knee on the on the on the ground and he goes oh oh that's smart uh, i might need a doctor <laughs> you're one right uh come come here doc <laughs> I'll walk over to him and help him up. <clears throat> like, yeah, I help him up. Hey, Doc, uh, can you look at his knee? I, I, uh, I say, uh, yeah, bullshit to him. <laughs> um, I, I say, uh, in code, um, uh, that I say in code, um, uh, danger incoming, basically security incoming you see the person in question with the 404 above their head peek out around the corner see you all there seems like he hears something looks back over his shoulder dives through that door that you guys were about to go into he goes into the cave yeah at least into the hall that the cave is off of we need to follow this guy and you guys hear in the hall, Zid having knows the sound because he recently heard them. You hear it's a group of security officers running. I'm interested to know if this person has any information that would help be helpful. You gonna follow him, or are you gonna wait till security is mm. clear? See the thing. Uh... So security probably wants to like get him and detain him and maybe kill him. And um, I would mm -hmm. like to know what he knows. Um, but I also don't want to piss security off. Um, That's the question. And I've already, I think I've, I've used my uh, one um, bold choice of the night. So I will, uh, acquiesce to whatever the other three gentlemen would like to do. Mm. It's hard to know. Do you have any ideas, um, Seamus? Like, because Zid's into multiple minds as to what he wants. He sort of wants the just to not be there when security catches up to him, but I also agree with what Azriel slash Blackstone is thinking with wanting information, but. Well, you guys are I mean, I guess that's what we need to decide because if we go follow him into this cave and security knows it's here, not only are they going to find him and find our stash and find us. Um, yeah. I, th I, th I think keep if... clear until it looks if we don't follow him and security doesn't go in there it's a very good possibility that we don't catch him again mm -hmm. i know so uh, I, I don't know i don't know if i should ask this because it might be a bit meta go for it um i i imagine we probably would have described what we saw the markings we saw to zid um I know I, Seamus doesn't know about what Zid saw, but uh, I'm wondering now if the size of those marks, claw marks, might match what Zid's seeing kind of following this dude. No. The thing Zid's seen following this guy was much smaller. Humanoid. Yeah. Okay. It's a... I wasn't sure. It's, it's not like a halfling size for, you know, using your fantasy terms. But it is not a good six-foot-tall person either. It's a smaller, slender, humanoid figure. Yeah, maybe a teen or something yeah. like that. And thinking about that, roll me a perception check. Uh, 
the claw that you saw, the scratch that you're talking about, that was massive. You want me to roll the perception? Seamus, right? Seamus. Uh, no, no, not Seamus. Okay. Sorry, Zid. Zid perception, okay. because Maybe. you're looking down the hall. Where the guy went through. The other three were looking at you. Uh, right. Okay, finally a lower roll. 15. <laughs> I think your eyes were playing trick on you, because you thought you saw something move, but you don't see anything there. Yeah. Well, there's, there's a lot going on, so... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's and it's too much thinking. Like, what what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Um, are I you think... still on the ground, uh, as if you've hurt your knee? Yeah, I Blackstone's helped me up. Um, it's it probably was purely because yeah. I knew people were coming, and I wanted to like, yeah. So yeah, I, I'm up. At that, you guys see the security guards pop around the corner. They start looking both ways. Did you guys see uh, an identified individual come through here? I th I think Zid would point. I think that might I, be I, bad for us. But... I look at I look at I look at Zid and and I I just give him a shake of the head to say no, don't. Mm -hmm. So we <laughs> say no. We get enough information to know that Zid talked to these guys to get them to come here. This may uh, decide what I do or not. This may or may not be the same group. It probably isn't actually, because there's a number of groups out that have been looking for this guy. You would have overheard. Do we know that Zid, like, alerted security. All you would have heard at this point, I think, would be Zid's words, which would have been "security incoming" in code. So you would understand security incoming. That's, not okay. Yeah, not yeah, that so... not that Zid notified him, but that security is moving about and on alert. Yeah, yeah. So Seamus is just kind of like maybe standing back against the wall, out of the way if they need to get through here or whatever. Then yeah, no, yeah. So, Making way. So if you guys were at a T intersection, right? You guys are down here. Security guards just came from here. You guys were going to go straight forward through a doorway that's kind of dead here. And then the path does go along there. So they came here, they looked around, trying to see where the guy went. And they see the doorway there that's kind of, you know, flopped open part way. And they're looking suspiciously at it, but then they look down and see you guys. And since you aren't alerted as rebels or problems, mm -hmm. they decide they should ask you to see if you would, you know, aid in their investigation. Yeah, I'm not going to aid. I'm going to... I, I'm personally going to say no. I'm going to look at them and I'm, I'm going to say, I'm going to shake my head. No. But we'll keep an eye out for him. The rest of you, did you, any of you guys see him? I'll, I'll, look, at them I'll, I'll look at him and I'm like, I'll just not. I, I, I don't answer no. I say, uh, I, I just... I just tripped and hurt my knee. Uh, I, I'm sorry, sir. This this is uh this is how Zid answers questions in um when he gets arrested and stuff too. <laughs> he he doesn't ever answer. Shame say anything. Oh, I said not a thing. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm so, conflicted. Matt's here screaming in his head going, I don't know. <laughs> so, you see they break off. Two of them head down the other hall. Two of them come right for you guys. And two of them stay stationed at that door. I'll look and see where they go. So, two of them are start booking down the hall. Two of them are standing right at that door, guarding it. And two of them come past you guys excuse me we gotta okay. down this way for him that's a lot of security that's six yeah yeah okay yeah i'm just definitely like be up against the wall be letting them through mm -hmm. head down as like looking at my shoes i'm gonna go down the. i want to go down the hallway uh to follow follow him because i don't want him to get too far ahead Follow who Four or four. Oh, he went in the cave, you'd have right? to. Yeah, he went in the. the 
it's it's the hallway that leads to the cave. So it's a old hallway that's been kind of blocked off that you guys went through. Mm-hmm. There's two guards stationed out front of that now. I go up to them and uh, ask them if passage through this area is permitted. This is outside the complex. It's off limits. Apparently the doorway just hasn't been decommissioned yet. <laughs> In other words, destroyed. <laughs> mm. Awkward. I walk back to them. And I say... Oh man, I, I feel like they're they're gonna they're gonna find our stash, and they're gonna take everything, and they're gonna close it off, and both of our leads are gonna dry up unless we do something very soon. Seamus, do not despair. Higher low. Go ahead. What? Seamus, higher high. low. Hi. Hi. The rest of you don't hear this, but Doc does. What a predicament you all have gotten yourselves into, haven't you? Oh my god. How do you guys think uh, Doc would reply to that? By swatting the air around his head? Mm -hmm. Okay. You guys see Doc spin around and like punch the wall where there's a vent. Right. Now I think we have two people that might need to go to the infirmary. And Seamus is going to look towards Blackstone and like kind of kind of looking at Doc's hand kind of as Doc's shaking it off a little bit and looking at Zid's knee that's not really hurt and uh, like sidle over a little closer to Blackstone and, and say if we're going to do something, it's it's not going to be here right now. If we're going to do anything to save what's here, we've got to make a plan first. I mean, now let's get them off to the infirmary. You could wait a few hours and the guards will be asleep. As you pass... Whose voice is that? As, well, I was going to say, Seamus knows this voice. And you hear it from the vent right as you guys pass it. The one that you just saw Doc hit. Is it my shadow friend? Yes. Oh, shite, he's back. Yes, uh, we might have three people that need to go to the infirmary now. And Seamus is, like, (laughs) rubbing his temples. Um, This might be a job for later. (laughs) <laughs> I I guess infirmary it is then man yeah let's head off Zid you might want to limp a bit more it'd be more believable oh yes my knee it hurts <laughs> Zid in your head your uh, companion asks mm-hmm. would you appreciate artificial pain in your knee to assist in the <laughs> bluff. Um, that's an it interesting is. question. Mm-hmm. It's only him that hears it, right? Oh yeah, yeah. It's just him. Um, I, 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 I will say. No. Well, I, I have a I have a suggestion out of character. Um, mm. My understanding, like uh, from a pain standpoint, like as if you're if you feel pain, your your um, your heart rate rises. Um, Adrenaline. There, yeah. So mm-hmm. if we get, if we go to the infirmary and you are feigning pain or you are feigning being hurt, they will know. All right. Oh, well, let's to go be, then. To be fair. You guys might know this before we just end up going there. 
um Seamus has no actual intention of going to the infirmary because for first of all we have doc second of all we we've already been told that zid's not actually hurt okay. um he's just looking for an excuse to get us all out of that tiny hall like tiny corner of a hallway all right all right never mind cool unless you guys actually want to do something and make us go to the infirmary for some reason it's, i'm yeah, cool with that nice. but I don't know if there's a reason. I'm good. We can... Actually, let's go back to our room. Okay. Did Zid want the artificial pain then or no? Okay. No. So you guys eventually make it back to your room. Oh, boy. <sighs> so... Uh, Zid. did we all hear the voice or just perception me? check as you guys go into the room Seamus keep Got talking um, I, I, de I definitely heard it that would be uh, my friend well I use the term friend very loosely 21 Mm -hmm. uh, it was for Zid. Ooh. The room 29. looks to be untouched. There's no new things found. Zid, on the other hand, you notice the camera has been disabled. And you only see that because of your current overlay capability. Overlay. So... Someone's turned the camera off. Thank you, Shadow Friend. Um, Zid will say sometimes uh my big brother would uh would have a big rest, he would close his eyes and to the world and he would uh he said it was a good place for med meditation, um, and yeah, he's 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 communicating that uh, that the camera's off. So the room is yours. What do you want to do? Zid is so frustrated, like. He's like, this was the day that he was going to take action. He was going to get stuff organized. He was going to take responsibility. Every single place that we have gone to, every single thing that we've tried to do, but apart from the amazing roles that he's had for perception and stuff, but the things, the things that we were trying to do, the things that we were looking to do have all been foiled. Um, I mean, if you so had feeling pretty frustrated. Old so good, the guy could have just followed in behind you to your secret stash. That could have been fun. Yeah, it could have. Um, Seamus is just like, maybe they won't actually go through the door unless something alerts them to. Um, maybe we can go back in a few hours and see what's happening. I don't think that unless they're actually suspicious that something's going on behind the door, that they're going to muster up a crew to quote unquote decommission it right away if they haven't done it by now it tells me either they don't care about it or it takes time you do know that this place does have quite a bit of bureaucracy so taking time wouldn't be a surprise yeah I, I think that um I think we probably have a few days, but probably not much longer than 
I'd be surprised if it's still there a week from now. We have to get that to work, though. Yeah, we have like less than a day free left, so yeah. I think we need to. We should go back later tonight when there's no guards. Um, uh, tonight or perhaps when the shift is ending and before the big robots with the guns come out. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. Yep. After oh. after shift ends when. <laughs> you just worry me, you Blackstone, when you see you want to go out at night. God, you do it one time, and I just... <laughs> why do why do I, mean, I have I to be the risk ghost. taker every time? I talked to a ghost one time, and I haven't oh, stopped God. hearing about it. <laughs> God, you take one risk, and like... It's... No, actually, I've taken way more, way more than one risk. You it's download like... one AI consciousness into your brain, and all mm -hmm. of a sudden, your friends don't look at you the same way. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so, see, that's the fun part. Every single one of you has something like that. That works. One has downloaded an AI, one's talking to ghosts and getting called out for it, and one's taking mm -hmm. crazy risks and getting called out for it. Trying so, to get yourself killed. It's all good. It's all good. It's a special group. And Doc's, Doc's trying, to, trying to dream himself out of the machine. <laughs> oh, yes. Don't try too hard. Oh. Tried to dream himself out of it so hard he got a nosebleed. Oh, man. That was great. Right, so, yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah, okay. So, so Seamus' context wanna... did mention that the guards could be asleep in a couple hours. Okay. How's, uh, how's our timer looking? You'll have the rest of today, and then tomorrow you will be back on duty. Okay. All right. Um, let's... Let's see if we can make those speed heals again. All right, roll the check. I'm not doing it this time. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be the one oh, to fail again. Oh, but I like the idea of you rolling it again. That was fun. It's just a D10. Yeah. I think it's like what slash red slash red D10. Oh mm -hmm. man. Nah, you rolled a D zero. <laughs> I was hoping you didn't notice for a second. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No. Wow. 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 Four is still. All what? Right. I wrote a. Wow. I wrote ruled a meta ability for him, and he got a four. So apparently Doc is just not on par today. So he's he's trying to make it, and he's like, I. I, I don't know, just with everything going on, I'm just not on my game today. I'll have to try again later. It's, it's just not working. Uh, okay. I hate to tell you, big guy, but this is literally your name. You're the doc. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. All right. Jesus. Well, if you want street uh. drugs, I can do that. This is pharmaceuticals. Sheesh. Thought you understood this by now, Shamish. Seamus just takes a deep breath and lets it out. Anyone so. for a game of chess? Yeah. <laughs> Anything to take my mind off this shit. All right, so you guys start playing that. Did you want to head back there in a couple hours, or what do you want? I do. do Hell play? yeah. Okay. So you guys play chess for a couple hours, and then kind of see that it's about the time you think you could potentially head back and you guys head back you get there you notice the two of them are still standing there next to the doorway but they're both slightly at an angle like leaning against the wall yeah so instead of being up straight 
they're just... They've been here all day, and they're just like, ugh. Well, roll a perception check. All of us, or...? Uh, a couple of you, anyways. One or two of you. I'll take my 11. 19. Okay. You see, walking up closer to him as you go, you see this little tiny dart in the side of their neck. I walk, I walk back and... Hey guys, I think that, uh... I think our friends here got... got drugged. I think they're... I think they're really kind of... sleeping with their eyes open, so to speak. At least someone can do it, right? You do see their chest is still rising and falling as though they're breathing. Mm -hmm. But slowly. I'm gonna... I'm not even gonna stealth through. I'm just gonna, like, walk like I'm supposed... Walking like I'm supposed to be there. Quote, unquote. Okay. I'm just gonna walk right by him like I'm supposed to be there. Oh, their eyes aren't open. Okay. I mean, they're, like, partially okay. open, but they're kind of just... Like, crossed and half-closed. They, they seem to don't react to you at all. I follow in Blackstone. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so you guys go in. You now have the hall in front of you. You know, up and to the right a little ways, you have that secret passage to go through to your stash. What do you want to do? Is that the um, only place this hall goes? It goes to your stash, but it also goes down to the old complex, if you go far enough. They're going to close this hallway off. Eventually. I think we have to find a new stash. Keep in mind... They also said the same thing was going to happen to that door that they caught the guy getting mushrooms from. And that one's been longer than this one. Okay. I think we need might need to find uh, the people down here and let them know what's, what's happening. Yeah. It might, might have to be... Uh, Seamus like does that that runner stretch where he bends his leg backwards and grabs his foot and starts to stretch his legs out might be time for a bit of a jog let's do it alright I will limber up alright <laughs> let's get a perception check from one of you whoever's in the lead uh, I'll, I'm in the front. Okay, and who's taking up the, the rear? What do you Seamus think, Seamus? I don't know where we're at. Would Doc take up the rear? I think Doc's right behind me. Okay. I could take up the rear, I guess. All right. All right, so you guys are just best for last. as is, just bolting down. Yeah, we have important information to pass along. Okay. I mean, do we want to grab stuff from the stash first, or no? Let's yeah, let's just let's just grab everything. Okay. Well, you guys go into your stash. You see someone there eating one of your MREs. Uh, excuse me. I, I say that out loud. I said that out loud. Uh, uh hey, hey, you, you guys made it. Oh, glad I found this place. Um, did you guys know there's supplies here? Yes, we did. Excuse me, sir. Like, uh, who are you, and why do you do? What are you doing with our stuff? Zid. 
You know who this guy is. <sighs> who is it? <laughs> you saw him following these fellows. Okay. You saw um, his name. So he's... He's 404? Yeah. I, uh, I, I sort of... And uh, now that you get a closer look at him, he's the one that stopped by and told you that you guys didn't keep your promise the other day. Alright. I sort of go... It's okay, Blackstone, I'll deal with this. You see how um, I'm looking now, right now, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, this is how I look at him. Like, I, I, have my, I have my arms crossed, and I'm looking very stern, like, um, like I, I want to punch him. Yeah. I say to him, um, to, to this, to 404, I say, well, I sort of recognize you, but uh, I don't know how much you know about this place. Uh, our memories are not complete. Uh, oh, you got wiped? Uh, so we remember going into an old tunnel network and dealing with a problem, but we don't remember what happened. Did we meet you there? Yeah. You asked me to go okay. look into some stuff for you and that you would meet up with me and... You guys and never you showed. Came back to us just before and said that we did not get deliver a promise. Did yeah. we say that we would do something for you? You really don't remember a thing. Ow. I hold out my hands and I say, I'm sorry, man. I I don't know who you are. I I think that is probably where you are from. And when, but I don't remember anything else, and my companions here are just the same. I am very sorry. I'm gonna, um... Seamus snaps his fingers and points at him and says, I remember something. That's my MRE. <laughs> I, I, I didn't know it was yours. I'm sorry. I'm starving. So I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna walk up to him. Um, I'm not, I'm not thinking my, my arms aren't crossed and like, I'm not, I don't look as stern. Um, but I, I walk up to him and I've taken a, I've taken a really deep breath through my nose. And, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll perception really quick just to see if I can make that olfactory check. Mm -hmm. Does that make, is that cool? Mm -hmm. What are you trying to do? Fuck this! This is ridiculous. Yeah, like to see like so. Obviously, I was there, and I'm just trying to get like a, the smell of him mm. from being down there, and I'm trying to transfer. The smell, smell would actually head. be different now, anyway, so the old factory wouldn't trigger. That yeah. smell would be faint. He reaches into yeah. the stash and fumbles around, pulls out your m malarian. Oh, He's like, do I know where you got this from. Puts it back. Uh, I wasn't upset with you for a while. I wasn't upset with you. I know the for, guy you killed to get minutes. it, and I know where he got it from. I would be interested to know where he got it from. Well, with you if forgetting I mean. everything, I kind of wonder. We remember everything after. Uh, right. Since the... You, do you remember seeing us? Did we have a R on our name when you saw us? Yes, I think you guys said you were that. We are different colors now. Since we change colors, we remember everything after then. I mean, your you clothes were R. I don't see your names. I don't... I'm not connected. Well, you I can see, see the I, color, right? I see your, yeah, I see you're wearing orange now. Yes, we're not red anymore. Yeah, I, I, I can see that. When that changed, after the mission that you met us, uh, as soon as that mission finished, we got these orange... Well, we slept and then got these orange um, oh. clothes. And 
from then on we remember everything but there are gaps when we obviously would have met you I see almost like our memories were wiped what no way so it's like way uh, okay well I went and looked into the thing you asked me to it, it, there are some groups in the tunnels um However, there's we some... We have heard since about our resistance. There's a few of them. Okay. They have some different philosophies as well. There's multiple resistances? Yes. We met one that has got a, another AI who... Whose AI? Values, uh, yes. Intelligence. No, I know what it is, but I, I didn't know there's any AIs around. I thought they were all behind the black wall. Black wall. You, you know that after the net crash, they put up a wall to block them. Do you guys not know about that? I'm afraid not. Oh. So, so we got kidnapped. Uh, we all did. But I, we don't have our, like, like, I don't have a whole, like, I mean, yeah. Anyway. I'm, I'm, uh, visibly, so, I'm visibly frustrated now. So the Overseer is an AI. Oh. Like, he looks absolutely, like, shocked. Like, he had no clue. And this AI has a personality and views and is bad right it does bad things we all know bad things yeah this other group that we have heard of has a different opposed ai that wants to bring down the overseer in the end ai doesn't matter overseer dead gone finished so that we can all get out of here that uh, matters. That, that would that would be good yeah um how are you going to deal with his robots? It is a good question. Okay. We'll put Hack a pin them. in that one then. What? Hack them? You can do that? It um, may be possible, but the person who is um, running the uh, tech side of this operation is a significant threat. Indeed. Okay. Um, actually, the groups. Okay. So there's a few resistance groups, however. There is some major threats in some of the tunnels I found out. Apparently, they've released some Things. I don't even know what, but the resistance group said you gotta be careful when you travel the tunnels. Because some routes have monsters or beasts or something. Would they happen to have Seamus a map? Is just nodding his head. <laughs> no. They have pathfinders. So you have to get one of those to make it safely through to only their areas. None of them seem to know an outside access point. We have heard of two. The one that is through the bad area that nobody can access right now. And another one that per perhaps one of the resistance knows about. So we have heard a lot of the grapevine. Also, I think there might be one of your friendly beasts down here. Like that he like jumps up. He's like, where? That's really not good. I um, I reach into the, I reach into the stash and grab the the helmet. Um, so, and I hold the helmet up. See this? Yeah, there's a group called themselves the Darkstalkers. They had some of those. 
So they didn't want to talk. They were very mean. Okay. Let's um. How far? How far uh, out of character? How far in is it? Is the guy? Five minutes? Ten minutes? Probably five-ish minutes. Okay. Because you, I mean, it's not a five-minute brisk walk, right? It's sure. crawling through crevices and squeezing through okay. and watching your step. I want to take. I want to take him to the dude. I mean, where's what's he? Where, where's he got to be? He doesn't have to be anywhere. You can take him there if you want. That's fine. You could show Zidim as well. Zid hasn't seen the guy. Yeah, let's take a trip. Field trip. Yeah, we show... might as well get these people to try and work together. So, four or four man, I want to show you. You will need to bring your flashlights so you can see. Yeah, let's yep. do it. Um, you know, let's, let's take a trip. So I, I have the flashlight. Okay. Um, I, know, I know there's, there's very little chance. Like, I mean, I, I don't, I don't have the, the, I have it out, but I don't have it like pointed or whatever. Um, it's just prepped, but yeah. All right, here we go. Follow me. You guys make your way to the corpse. And he's there before you slumped over on the floor like you he was last time and I um I lean I lean him back like against the against the wall so that our friend can see the wound ah I want you to oh. look closer look closer why I want you to look under his skin dude he has subdermal armor. Can we go now? <laughs> you did not know about this? Not this one, no. Ooh, what about people with subdermal armor who might be down here? Have you heard of that before? Not that I'm aware of, but they don't show it. So it would be kind of hard to tell. I didn't right. go around cutting people to find out if they had subdermal armor. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, we have been a little frustrated recently because we have been trying to find out some information. We have been trying to get uh, a leg up in our situation. And it seems that everything, every place we turn, there is more and more barriers and there is more and more questions. Please excuse any oversights or Visible undue frustration. frustration. <laughs> it has been a difficult time. I, I understand. Uh, do you know of the mind? No. I mean, you know I know we have minds. But... Who went through all iterations of their bodies and then were mutated afterwards. Oh. That sounds terrible. Do you know of rats that were no longer rats and were bigger and had awful things attached to them? I don't know about things attached to them, but I know some, like, big ugly rats that are nasty. They have foul temper. Mutated. Mutated. Yeah, they, that sounds about right. It seems that the Overseer and his group have been experimenting much more than perhaps you already know. There are people out here who have been experimented on more than they should have and have ended up with all forms of mutations, their jaws half off. Yeah. All, yes, very bad. And, and again, sorry about eating your MRE. They, they 
made it so I can't get to where we used to be. I was living off the food there and what I could get, but I hadn't been able it to eat It is much for a few days. worse for others down here, just so you know. It is bad that you haven't had food. Um, perhaps there is more that we can do for that, but um, there we. <laughs> it. There are other people who are hardly themselves anymore. Yeah, that's, I mean, you told me about those mutant stuff. That's, that sounds terrible, man. Seamus, well, this yeah. is going on. You hear back right. by you. Hmm. FaZe would definitely like to hear about this. And FaZe is the technology contact. I think there's some one else here with us. Show yourself. Oh, I don't do that. Oh, fuck, he's back. I toss the I toss the flashlight to Seamus. Seamus. Nope. Shine, shine it around, I guess. Ooh, that was a close one. Naughty, naughty. You hear from another direction. You whoop over there and nothing. You see various, you know, cave structures, stalagmites, stalactites. Some of them are connected in columns around. But you don't Is see there any digital any structure in here? No, there's no, there's no man-made structures that you can see. It's all natural caves. Okay. Um, if I if I roll like a stealth check, is there a way to detect? I would be more perception than stealth. I'm cool with that. Stealth is what they're doing. Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll try to perceive. It's going to be difficult. Can okay. they hear any of this, or is it just me? They heard a faint noise. The, per the person is definitely not speaking very loud. But they did, they, did <laughs> they did hear the naughty, naughty. Yeah, Sid looks up. That's not going to do it. I mean, nope. Seamus is just, like, literally turning circles, shining up and down. Sure. At this point. It's fine. I, I, blew, I blew all my luck. I got I a 19. Roll, I just rolled really poorly. Yep. You're shining around. You're not seeing anything either. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, you're so trying to find me. That is so amusing. I will tell Faze be your skills. And you heard this from like each part of the statement was like from three different locations around. So you look at each one and there's nothing there. Yeah. And I, I say like, well, maybe if you were more helpful, we would stop looking. We would stop trying to look. You're I being am very helpful. helpful. Well, then you have a very weird definition of the word helpful. I let you get we... in here, didn't I? Let us. Seamus, at your feet. Like right in front of your face, drop to your feet. You see one of the darts that you saw back in the guys at the entryway. Wow! Is it just him that sees it? I mean, it's small enough okay. that no one else would like blatantly see it unless he points it out. But yeah, if he points it out, everyone can see it. Yeah, I mean, Seamus would. All right. So now, now that I see that, um, I I appreciate what you did for us. So in that vein, thank you for being helpful. Anyway. So you knocked out a couple of guards so we could come back here and 
I get no answers to any questions. I, I'd say that's quite helpful. Very, very helpful. Well, you can get a few more if you stop trying to cause problems. <laughs> if you'd stop sneaking up on people, people wouldn't look for you. What problems? <laughs> this is uh, and I, I touch my, I touch my nose with my, my index finger. Uh, just go ahead and lower the flashlight, and we can speak calmly. I'm particularly sensitive to such things. How about you close your eyes, and you speak calmly, and will I'll still keep being freaked the hell out? I mean. That's somewhat acceptable. But I still don't like the light. It's uncomfortable. Seamus, it's okay. I believe you know He'll, some uh, of throw the, the flashlight back to Blackstone then. I'll turn the flashlight off. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I acquiesce to what you to what you asked. So phases now, can run we have into a civil some, conversation. Oh, absolutely. Phases run into some difficulties. So I've been trying to look out who potentially has caused problems, so I've been investigating those who have recently had dealings with him. What of course have we done that has caused him difficulties? I didn't say you had. You recently had dealings with him. Specifically, Seamus has had dealings with him. And so, okay. knowing that Seamus dealt with him recently, I investigated him to ascertain if he was responsible for the problems or not. Is he? And you found? That you are not responsible. Which is why you're exactly. still standing. And I've been trying to ascertain which assets would be most beneficial in assisting in helping the phase with the issues. Oh, there's plenty of ass in this room right now. You may want to move back to your other location. Someone's attention has been drawn. Uh, okay. Seamus looks to Blackstone. Uh, what time did you see the murder bots came out? Um, you have a couple uh, hours till then. But yeah, I was going to say, you, like we, we haven't been gone that long. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that Seamus is in paranoid. No, 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 no you're right. It's happening right now. Sure. Deeper in the cave, though, you hear a. That's it, show's over. Bye. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let's go back to the stash. I mean, we've seen everything that we need to see here. Uh, there's nothing else that... Um, so... Shadow Contact has seen it. Our friend has seen it. 404 has seen it. Zid has seen it. So, for all we know, Creature can feed on that body now. I don't want to stick around to see what happens, so away we go. Back to the stash. Yep. So you guys make it back there. Mm -hmm. Is it still pitch black? Can we at least... Well, I mean... Oh, you, you would need this. to turn your flashlight on to get back to your mm -hmm. location without getting hurt. So, friend, um, you might want to head out before us because I'm going to need to turn this flashlight on. Um, we will meet you back at the door. Or back at the stash area since you seem to know where all of our shit is i would suggest you guys go first i can move quieter and i will catch up with you there okay let's move out Off so go. you guys all make it back to your stash mm -hmm. um i put the helmet back in the back in the stash 
Um, I mean, I, I stow, I stow what, what we need to stow for now. Yeah. We're not, we're not moving the stash right now. Yeah. And four of four um, is there, and he's like, I don't really have anywhere I can go. Um, yeah. The routes I had were through the other place. Uh, yeah. The guards are looking for me. Yeah. I really am not equipped to deal with that beast. Okay. Yeah. What do you want? Um, I either can you guys get me food so I can stay here or find another route that I can try to get out? How about you take this chip? And that can replace your little oh. 404 over your head. Where'd you get these? These are rare and expensive. If you decide to help us, you can keep it and you can be safe in here. Uh, but we are just about done with people messing us around. So you can decide now um, so, if you want to band together I and mean, help us. I, I already said I would help you guys, but you forgot when you had your memories wiped. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, it's I, I get why you forgot now. I was confused and frustrated. I think you can probably understand. Yes. Um, so yeah, are we. there's a, another entrance that I was able to uncover back in the other area. that I was able to get into these caves and find the groups, but I don't know another path there. And I really don't want to fight that monster. For obvious reasons. We can go looking for that, but you can have this chip for now. Thank you. Just be careful, uh, as you do not have the appropriate color clothing, but uh, this will at least give you a name other than 404, so that they don't instantly know it is you. Actually, let me show you. He shows you a spot on the clothing that you can attach it. It actually changes the color on his oh, wow. outfit to be in line with what the name says. All right. If things get too bad, you could always try to head back down this hallway, away from the door, go farther down into the old complex. They don't have a lot down there, but you'd be safe. But it's a, it's a trek. It's a trek down there. Okay. Thank you. There are options, so mm -hmm. you can, uh, you can explore what you want. Um, but we are going to go back to our rooms, and if we, I will uh, save some food. It is not the best, but it is food. I will save some if I can for you. I, I was we come across living you. off of mushrooms. I, I don't think it's going to be necessarily worse than that. Well, Seamus right. goes, oh, a good sautéed mushroom would be great. <laughs> stupid kibble. Uh, the problem is, is we didn't have any fire source, so they were just raw. Ugh. Sautéed would be better. Seamus is lost in the thought of a good just plate of sautéed mushrooms and has no idea that his guy's talking anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Nice. Uh, well, I hope that we uh, come across you again and thank you for uh, listening to us and understanding what we have gone through. Hopefully we can uh, band together to uh, accomplish what we all want, which is to get the fuck out of here. I, I agreed. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, since now I know you guys had your memory wiped, I'm Nadex, and thank you all for your help, and uh, yeah, hopefully you can find a way to get into the area, or through here, and we can get you in contact with those groups I found. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Nadex. And so you guys head back to your rooms, or? Yeah. All right. Um, head back to our rooms, uh, frustrated as shit. Cause, some, like, we've had, we've had two, two days off, and we've 
basically gotten nothing accomplished. You get back to your room, and there's Sounds another like real life, right? Yeah, and there's another picture there sitting next to Blackstone's bed. Jesus. Pick, I picked the picture up. It is a massive humanoid. It looks like it's kind of human. However, it has an extra set of mechanical arms. And his hands are cyberware. He is all sorts of cyberwared out. Okay. And you see the background is the cave complex. And in the lower left-hand side of the picture, you see a corpse. Okay. That looks oddly familiar. Great. And on the back, or on the bottom there, it has a little note. I found your monster. Thank you, FaZe. I'll show the picture to the to Zid and to Seamus. Yeah, this is this is what we're up against. You being familiar with Cyberware, Blackstone. I'm gonna roll. Yeah. Do I yeah. need to roll for it? Yeah. Yeah, I'll roll. Yeah. Roll to see how much you're able to decipher about this guy. Oh, I'm gonna vomit. Cyberware. Uh, I'm gonna vomit. This sucks. Ooh. Thank God. Thank God. Thirty-three. Nice. You know there is cyberware that you can get attached. That is artificial shoulders, which add a set of arms. So this guy has mm -hmm. two full-blown cyber arms on top of his normal arms that are massive and cyber enhanced and all of them have cyber knuckles and hands and now on top I of it like all, I've seen a ghost. he's a bit oversized and he has mm -hmm. subdermal armor as well as Fucking hell. a exosuit so this guy is like all sorts of cyber weird out this is adam smasher soccer. no not Adam Smasher because no, he, no. I mean, like, well, he's yeah. he's like, yeah, but yeah, this is basically. Um, well, th this guy know. is very much flesh, where Adam Smasher wasn't mm -hmm. much flesh. Yeah, correct. He just has cyberware embedded in his flesh all over too. Mm -hmm. So, for those of you who know like 40k, think of like an Ogren that's been pimped out with lots of cyberware and an additional set of arms. Right on. Vomit. This makes me want to puke. And Blackstone does You'll not get this way very very often. Do you still want to go down into the caves and uh, face the monster? No. Hey. No. No. Sorry. I, I want to be wrapped up in Anansi's web and go for a really long sleep. And with that as your entrance to your dreams, we will call it for tonight and give you guys a chance to determine your solutions for next time. Thank you all so much for joining us. I hope you've enjoyed the story thus far and the chaos that has ensued. Thank you, our wonderful cast, for all the fun you've made this. And viewers, until next time, as always, enjoy the story. We'll see you guys then. I want to fucking hurl.